Good afternoon. My name is Zora Bender from Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church, where Reverend Charles K. Bender is my pastor, and I'm here for our youth lesson. So you're going to need a pencil and paper in your Bibles today. So I'm going to talk and do a little prayer while you get your Bible and your paper and pencil. So let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for our health and strength. Lord, we pray that you will continue to guide and lead us, Lord, and we will be led. Thank you for everything you've done. Pray that this lesson will be a blessing to someone, Jesus, in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, back to our lesson. When you get your Bibles, we want to go to Isaiah 40, a scripture that we already have memorized. Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. And I can't be with you, but pastor usually say, if you have it, say amen. So we're going to do Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. Have thou not known, have thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, Fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. That's Isaiah 40, 28 through 31. And for a lesson topic this morning, we're going to talk about how far will God go? How far will God go? Nothing you do or say will prevent God from coming to your rescue when you call on him. We think sometimes we get so bad or dirty that we can't even talk to him or we shouldn't even attend church services. But that's not the case because He's always waiting on you to call. So how far will God go? Um, I went in the scriptures to see how far will he go. And the first place the scripture, took, the spirit took me to in the Bible was, he'll go into the hog pen. And we know how we feel about the hog pen. It's dirty and nasty. And it's for pigs. And swines were considered the dirtiest animal in the Old Testament. But that's where the Lord found the prodigal son and brought him back to his senses. And you can find that in Luke 15, verse 11. And then we went to Daniel 3. And there I found the Hebrew boys. And if I would ask them, how far will God go? They'll tell you he'll even come into the fire with you. He was in the fiery furnace with the three Hebrew boys. And then if we stay in Daniel, look at Daniel 6. It says, Daniel wanted to know, how far will he go with me? And he went with Daniel in the lion's den. And he locked the jaws of the lion so he could protect Daniel. And Guess what else? He will go and did go to the cross and died for us and rose again. And the grave couldn't hold him because he had a mission and he had to get back to his father. Now, there are five things God wants you to remember whenever you're having hard time. You may not be in a hog pen. You may not be in the fiery furnace. You may not be in the lion's den, but we all go through hard times. So the Lord wants you to know five things. The first one, you're never alone. 
Never. The second one, nothing takes him by surprise. He knows what's happening. He's just waiting on you to call him. The third one, when you're weak, just remember he said he's strong. And the fourth one, he's the God of new beginnings. So all he asks you to do is repent and he will receive you back in his grace. And the fifth one is, his love never gives up on us. His hands are always open and his arms are wide open to receive us back. So don't forget those things when you get in trouble and you look like you run up against a hard place or against a wall and you just don't know what to do. And the only thing you need to do is remember, God will come wherever you are. All you have to do is call on him because he tell you, he will never leave you nor forsake you. So, let's look at 1 Peter 5, 7. 1 Peter 5, 7. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Cast all your care on him because he cares for you. He didn't say some of them. He said cast all of them on here. He cares enough that he'll come wherever you are. Even in the hog pen and in the fiery furnace and in the lion's den, wherever you are and you need him, all you have to do is call him and leave your troubles with him. So lastly, he will go to God on our behalf. He will go to God on our behalf. That's the reason he came and the reason he died, the reason he rose again, and the reason he had to go back to heaven to be with his father, to be our mediator and our savior. And so just remember, there's no place and there's nothing you can do to stop God from loving you. Thank you.